local coverage you can count on continues with Josh Ahan Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. From sweet to elite. That's the name of the game with Saturday's girls basketball regional round. We got eight teams from the 260 still alive and all looking to punch their ticket to next weekend's semi-state. Let's tip things off in class 4A. 10th ranked Homestead facing McCutcheon at Marion High School. The McCutcheon has got this for a freshman phenom, Lily Graves. And Graves gets the Mavs on the board with that triple. But Homestead answering right back as Liv Fry gets the basket plus the foul. And then how about Whitney Ankenbrook heating up from beyond the arc as Ankenbrook has a dozen and Homestead is up by five at halftime. Second half, it's the super sophomore Maya Epps just taking over. Epps with a triple and then we're going to see Epps with a swipe and a score on the other end. She leads the way with 15 as Homestead gets their first regional title in seven years with a 51-34 win over McCutcheon. We had a good game last weekend leading into this and great practices during the week and I, I feel like it was really, really earned and I mean, I just, I'm so proud of everyone. It's filled with so much emotion and we're so excited to go to semi-state this weekend. This is amazing. I love this team so freaking much. We worked so hard. This entire week we've been pre preparing for McCutcheon and it just pays off. I love it so much. Second game of the doubleheader, we have fourth ranked Snyder facing 13th ranked Noblesville and this one will be a nail biter. Second quarter, it's Jordan Poole. The Purdue commit splashing from deep. Cap it off an 8-0 run as Snyder is up by one at halftime. Third quarter, it's Tia Finnessy with two of her 10 as Snyder is up by five after three. But Noblesville just rallying down the stretch. This is Reagan Wilson, a missed basketball candidate, tying things up from deep. Noblesville would take the lead for good. Last chance shot for Snyder off target as Snyder's season ends in heartbreaking fashion for the 43-40 loss. You know, we're going to keep fighting. We've been like that since we've been babies, freshmen, since we came in here. So, um, you know, we fought hard and we came up short. That happens sometimes, but I'm proud of them. I feel like we're still, we are still still had a good run and a great season. So. How about something a little more positive? Class 3A, we got second ranked Norwell facing number seven Benton Central at Caston. Third quarter action, Norwell heating up as Vanessa Rossworm. Hits the triple and it's all part of a 9-2 run. But then to the final seconds, it's a milestone bucket for Kennedy Filling. Filling becoming Norwell's all-time leading scorer with that jumper. And Norwell wins a regional title with a 58-44 win. Coming off their first sectional title since 1990. Woodland looking to upset number one Hamilton Heights. First quarter action, it's Brooke Knibular from deep, but Woodland trailing early. Second quarter, it's Taylor Knibular opposite corner. Similar results. However, Woodland season comes to an end as they fall 55-31 to Hamilton Heights. At the TP, Class 2A Fremont looking for their second ever regional title against Cass. Pick this one up in the third quarter. It's Claire Folk down low for two, but Fremont trailing by 11 after three. Still, no give up in the Eagles. Fourth quarter, this is Maya Turner with the tough bucket. However, Fremont season comes to an end as they lose to Cass 37-25. Other 2A regional games, Bishop Lures avenging last year's regional exit to Lafayette Central Catholic. Knights, Knights taking care of business 57-46. Meanwhile, number five, Eastbrook falling at Host Lapel 59-45. They end their season with a 23-3 record. Last but not least, Northfield facing number two Clinton Central for a 1A regional title at the TP. Third quarter, it's Sarah Parkinson going coast to coast as Central Clinton, the number two team in Class 1A, takes care of business and Northfield falls 58-16.